Hello everyone welcome back to my channel, stay tuned for more. The main reason why the first flight of Starship exploded is the engine failures. Out of 33 Raptor engines, only 30 managed to start and give a thrust to the spacecraft. But after second, engines started to lose energy and ultimately shut down. Spacecraft was unable to separate from the booster in upper stage and thus exploded. The company, in this case, decided to find out the issues with the Raptor engines and they found that they needed to upgrade the engines from hydraulic control to electric control for a better upward thrust along with other upgrades. Basically, Raptor engines are built by SpaceX for the SpaceX's Starship. The Super Heavy Booster and the Starship spaceship are completely redesigned and are ready to enter the Earth's orbit and carry out various missions with their much powerful Raptor and Raptor vacuum engines. Starship was mainly designed to send SpaceX's Starlink satellites to the Earth's orbit and do Moon and Mars research. The Raptor engine utilizes subcooled liquid methane and subcooled liquid oxygen as propellants in a full flow staged combustion cycle, which is a departure from the current Merlin engines. This new design offers increased efficiency by effectively utilizing all of the fuel without any wastage in powering its turbo pumps. The engine incorporates an oxygen turbo pump to utilize all the available oxygen and a methane turbo pump to utilize all the available fuel. This approach optimizes the combustion process and allows for more efficient utilization of the propellants, ultimately enhancing the engine's overall performance. For the Raptor engines, whether during launch or in flight, engine ignition was accomplished using dual redundant spark plug lit torch igniters. This new method is reputed to be less intricate, lighter in weight, more cost effective, and enhanced in terms of reliability. This advancement in the ignition system streamlines the engine's startup process, reducing complexity and weight while improving affordability and dependability. However, the balance definitely tipped in Musk's favor as all 33 of the Starship Raptors engines were able to pass the most recent test with flying coolers. Musk revealed in a tweet that the Starship's Raptor engines generated 269 tones of thrust at a 350 bar chamber pressure. To be completely honest, we did not anticipate the engine to endure a full duration run at such pressure, he stated. The wall of the Raptor chamber may have the highest heat flux of any object ever created. This is a crucial milestone since SpaceX's Starship, which consists of the spacecraft and the Super Heavy rocket, wants to develop a fully reusable transportation system for personnel and cargo missions to Mars, the Moon, and Earth's orbit. According to SpaceX, the Raptor engine, which is a reusable methane-oxygen staged combustion engine as mentioned before, has double the thrust of the Falcon 9 Merlin engine. After researching more about the upgrades in the booster engines, we found that instead of using the old design of hydraulic thrust vector controls, SpaceX assembled the new technology of electric thrust vector controls in the Super Heavy Booster 9. By this change, the rocket can gain more energy and obtain more thrust to move ahead towards its path. This is because the electric thrust controls are more powerful than the old hydraulic ones. Electric thrusters can provide more energy to the Raptor engines by acquiring solar energy in space, thus resulting in better propulsion. As of now, only these upgrades have been done and just by these changes, the Raptor engines have passed all of their basic tests. And that's today's video, don't hesitate to give your opinion. In the comments section below, if you like this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel, don't forget to hit the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching. By the way are you familiar Talk Talk Philippines app? Talk Talk is a delivery service app designed to connect more people by delivering items door to door. For more information, download the Talk Talk app here down below.